Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use some of the developer tools to create yourself a little weight calculator. So on the screen, I've got two spinner controls which I can use to increase my actual weight and increase my target weight and then a little formula telling me that I'm either over or under, go minus. So my actual weight is 126 target weight is 131 so I'm five pounds better off if I change my actual then I'm not so that's a very simple little spreadsheet it's just a little formula in there to work that bit out but let's get these working for you so have a go at doing this so I'll recreate this little table just get the copy the top put it there paste so today's date is control and semicolon that's today's date so Let's put a zero in there and a zero in there, and we're going to, to go equals the actual minus the target. And then just test that that works. If I go five and target was six, one to go. And then we can format that. I'll just highlight this yellow and the little box. So these spinner controls are found in the developer tab now if you haven't got the developer tab on the screen you need to go into file options file options and custom ribbon and then you can tick it on you can also get to that by just right clicking at the top there customize ribbon and but you need to tick this on whichever way you go into it and when that is on, on there, you've got these controls. And then the one we want is in this insert option. And then these form controls. And this is the tool that we're going to use, the spin button. So I'm going to click on one of those and just draw it on the screen very carefully. Position it afterwards. Now, to get it to increment this cell, you need to link it to that cell. So if I right click on that, format control, you get this cell link option so you can see the increments there the maximum is 30,000 going up one at a time at the moment which is okay click on that and then click on the cell and then click OK and then you can start inputting data now if I put say my actual weight was 120 which it's not and I want a target weight of 110 even though I've just typed that figure in there I can still use this to increment from that now, if I do the same for this one, if I get myself another spin control and draw that in the next box along, right click, format control, click on the cell link option. You can also click that if you want. That is the cell link. Bring that back out, click OK, click away, and then you can start doing that one. So if my target is 110, and I want to change the target up or down, I can do that. So at the moment, if I just widen that a little bit, my actual weight is 122, target is 110. So at the minute, I'm 12 pounds over target. Now, as I've widened that column, this one widened, this one didn't. If I just click on it, so it's selected, this is how you can then move it or reshape it or whatever you want to do so i'm just going to push that to the edge and then this one I'll right click on it and i want to bring this back into be a similar sort of size so they look similar so you basically need to right click then click away so you get the actual control circles around it and then you can move it like that now i've changed it it's back to normal and you can use it so that's a very short video how you, how you can use the controls from the developer tab to create yourself a little dynamic weight tracker. Hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.